Whoopi Goldberg shows her true views on, well, The View. She basically goes extremely woke and winds up going broke because of it, basically. We'll see what winds up happening as a result of it. But it's all about this book that was banned in many places due to some uh, nudity and other things like that that was in the graphic novel. But before I get into the story, just a quick reminder to like this video and to subscribe to the channel as well as it does help me out here. So let's go ahead and jump right into things. Like I said, Whoopi Goldberg on The View had this very controversial thing to say, and it's specifically dealing with the Holocaust, saying that it was not about race. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you the clip of this so you can see the context surrounding it. Like I said, this was a book that was being banned. That's how the story kind of started in the first place. But you actually have Whoopi Goldberg having this argument with everybody on the desk here about what the actual reasonings were behind the Holocaust. Go ahead and check it out here. Well, also, if you're yeah. going to do this, then let's be truthful about it, because the Holocaust isn't about race. No. No. It's well, not about maybe race. Maybe it, 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 no, it's about, a, a different it, race. But it's, it's not about race. It's not about well, race. What is it about? Because you, it's about man's inhumanity to man. That's what it's about. But it's about white supremacy. It's well, about but going it's not, after it's not about and, ideal and race. It's it's not perfect. But these are two Romans. white groups of people. Well, they how do we have to black but people see too. them as white people? And they, but you're missing the point. You're yeah. missing the point. Yeah. The minute you turn it into race, it goes down this alley. Let's talk about it for what it is. It's how people treat each other. It's a problem. It doesn't matter if you're black or white, because black, white, Jews, uh, it's how everybody eats each other. So is it, if you're uncomfortable, if you hear about mouse, should you be worried? Should, should your child say, oh my God, I, I wonder if that's me? No, that's not what they're going to say. They're going to say, I don't want to be like that. Well, hopefully. I well, want to be cool. Yeah. yeah. And well, yeah most kids, and most oh. kids, they, they don't want to be cool. No, they don't. And, and we're living in a, you know, we're living in an era where people are, are comparing vaccine cards to the yellow stars, where people are comparing mm -hmm. vaccinations to what Anne Frank yeah. went through. Yeah. So it is necessary for kids to learn about they the Holocaust. Learn about, and to learn way, about man's what? inhumanity to man, however it exposes itself. I have to cut you off. I just want to say fast. that now was banned and it flew to top 20 of Amazon's rules last week, of yeah. charts. Yes. I People, the more you ban it... So basically you have it there where she's is effectively saying exactly that. And really what this is about, if you've seen any of the people like Ilhan Omar, anybody that's far left or anything like that, they all kind of share this actual view where they are very anti-Semitic. You see this oftentimes with the way that they behave here. But Whoopi Goldberg is actually approaching this from a slightly different perspective here. What she's actually talking about, it, it makes sense to the far left. If you look at everything through the prism of the race that they are. So for for example, Whoop Whoopi Goldberg, of course, being black, she sees everything through this idea and lens of race in America. And what she's effectively doing here is trying to say, well, Jews were white, too. They had the same skin color. Now, of course, that's not how Hitler felt. It didn't really matter because Hitler actually threatened the annihilation of the Jewish race in Europe. So Hitler saw it as race. But the problem is that Whoopi Goldberg is looking at herself. She's looking at black Americans and then saying, well, we are we are oppressed because of our skin color is what she's trying to do. We look different. That's the reason why this is the case. And these these Jewish people, they didn't look all that different. They had the same skin color. Of course, they had different traits. I mean, you've heard the whole blonde hair, blue eyes thing with Germans and all that kind of that idea, the stereotype of the way that they look based over their genetics and that these Jewish people typically did not look that way. But the point is that she's ignoring all this because she's entirely fixated on race in America. That's the key takeaway here. She must say this to be in line with this whole new woke race thing that's going on in the United States. And specifically what I'm talking about is where they feel like black people are oppressed somehow. And because of that reason, if they admit that the actual Holocaust was about race, that, that Jewish people are oppressed, then all you need to do is look at the current oppression Olympics kind of thing that the left likes to play oftentimes. So basically the hierarchy of who's oppressed the most or least in their worldview of far leftism. And Jews oftentimes, as well as Asians, are very much so in the lowest bracket of that. They are the ones that effectively they say are 
not oppressed at all because they're doing extremely well financially. A lot of Jewish people are v- very well educated. Same thing with Asians and things like that. And they're basically, if they admit that Jewish people are or have been oppressed in this way because of race, then the real obvious question is what was the excuse for black people? I mean, what excuse did they have to not turn themselves around and become extreme successes in the United States? Well, the answer to that is that there isn't one. And I think Whoopi Goldberg is realizing this and that's why she's trying to take it away. She's trying to change it because she realized that if Jewish people are actually oppressed, they managed to be extremely successful people to turn their lives around, move to these different countries and, and get well-educated, do well for themselves. And black people just did it by and large. Right. And that's what that realization that she doesn't want to face. And that's because of that reason it would put them in the category of actually not being, um, not having a reason to really have been oppressed. And she's trying to maintain the victim group of black people. That's what this is all about. So she actually, uh, apologized for this whole thing. She said, I stand corrected in her claims about this. So the actual statement she said, she put this out on Twitter saying on the show today, I said the Holocaust is not about race, but about man's inhumanity to man. I, I should have said it is about both. Now this whole idea where she's saying, well, it's about people being mean to other people. Well, that doesn't change the fact of, of even slavery, for example. I mean, that's the exact same situation, right? It's people being mean to people. And, and we're complete, of course, we'd have to ignore it. I'm sure she doesn't even know that those people that got sold into slavery were sold by other black people. You know what I mean? Like, hello. Like the idea here is that she's saying that this is about man's inhumanity to man, but that explains all of these things. It doesn't. And this is why I don't see these things through the specific prism of saying, Oh, well, you know, th- this group is uh, oppressed and this group isn't, it doesn't matter. People have been evil to other people for years. They're being evil to people around the world right now. <laughs> of course, there's people in slavery today that most people don't even know about because they're so focused on black America that they're ignoring the realities around the actual globe. But she goes on and she says, uh, as Jonathan uh, Greenblatt from the Anti-Defamation Defamation League shared, the Holocaust was about the, not, the Nazis' systematic annihilation of the Jewish people who they deem to be an inferior race. I stand corrected. The Jewish people around the world have always had my support and will always, and that will never waver. And of course she's lying because she's always been anti-Semitic. A lot of these far left wing people are, but the point is the same is that she's trying to basically take this whole entire situation and turn it away from what actually happened and say, well, it only really counts as racism if it's skin color, if I can see that. And that's literally what she admitted. I mean, she said this uh, point blank, right? Right after the apology, uh, so she was, uh, I guess she had a, an interview on the late show with Stephen Colbert and she said, I feel being black when we talk about race, is a different thing to me. So she's right there saying, I don't think that being black is the same thing as being Jewish at those different times. In other words, you, you can't compare those two things. Don't compare slavery to the Holocaust. Totally two different things is what she's saying. So she said, so I said, I thought the Holocaust wasn't about race and it made people very angry. I'm getting a lot of mail from folks and a lot of anger but I thought it was a a salient discussion because as a black person, I think of race as being something that I can see. In other words, if I can't see a difference in the color of your skin compared to somebody else, it isn't about race. I'm confused here. I really am. Of course, once again, I, I she's ignoring the traits that German people had that were different than what Jewish people had, but still, I wonder what she thinks about in Africa, where you literally, and this is a thing, this is a legitimate thing in Africa, I'm not making this up, where if you are a light-skinned black person in Africa, you oftentimes are discriminated against because to other Africans, you're not black enough. I kid you not. Like, that is a thing right now, where black people are basically racist towards their own race, (laughs) right, because of the way that they look. And, and she ignores you. She probably doesn't even know that, doesn't even know that that exists. But this is where these people are right now. Oh, uh, she said, people are very angry and said, no, we are a race. And I understand that. I felt differently. I respect everybody. Uh, everything everyone is saying to me. I don't want to fake apologize. But she did fake apologize, obviously. <laughs> of course she did. That's the way this is all about. But uh, like I said, the key point here is that she's saying, if I can't see it, then to me, it's not about race. And, and this is what this is really about. It's about Whoopi Goldberg trying to maintain the victim group of black people in America by pretending as if nobody else had anything worse than they did or something. When I mean, that's a complete lie. When nobody that Whoopi Goldberg knows has been a slave, when nobody that Whoopi Goldberg knows was probably even related to anybody that's a slave, when she is extremely and overwhelmingly rich and wealthy in the United States right now, even compared to just Americans in general, 
she still is trying to maintain this victim group because to her, it always has to be about that. It always has to be about that. Instead of thinking the actual country that you live in, that you are a black woman in the United States being extremely successful, making a ton of money that has you set for life in, in an extremely nice house, I'm sure, if not multiple. So it's just crazy to me that you have these people doing this. It really just exposes them for what they really are, who they really are, and what they actually believe. This idea that if I can't see a difference in your skin color, then I don't consider that to have anything to do with race. It's just about people being bad towards other people. But to me, it's always bad when anybody's being bad towards anyone else. It doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter whether that's the Holocaust, slavery, or anything else. It's kind of the equivalent to some people did something that Ilhan Omar likes to talk about because she doesn't want to focus on what actually happened, the facts of the situation. That's basically what's taking place. So with that being said, that's all I have for you on this video. I thank you for watching this one. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel as well, and I'll see you on the next one.